guys, my name is Doyen and I'm on my way to try oxtail for the very first time. Now I'm gonna meet up with Chef Leanne Martin. She was born in Trinidad, but lives in New York City and makes Trinidadian inspired food. She's gonna take me to her favorite place to get oxtail in New York City. And apparently it's on four wheels. So here's a slow braised oxtails and butter beans. Oxtail is a dish that is popular around the world but specifically within the Caribbean and within Caribbean communities in the U.S. Yes, it is what it sounds like. Back in the day, oxtail was specifically the tail of an ox. Today, it can be the tail of any cattle. What used to be considered a throwaway cut of meat is now one of the most expensive, ranging from $4 to $10 per pound, and half of its weight is bone. Jamaica's unique culinary style is a culmination of all the peoples that have inhabited the island past and present, including the Arawaks, West Africans, Indians, British, and Spanish. Jamaican oxtail in particular is reminiscent of the African one-pot cooking traditions used by the African slaves and maroons on the island as early as the mid-1500s. Island Spice Grill is bringing the classic to New York City streets. So I found Leanne. We are in downtown Brooklyn on Court Street. Yes, and that is where Island Spice Grill is on a Friday. Monday through Thursday, I'm able to get them in the city because of their mobility. It makes it way easy for me to get oxtail. I just love the fact that they're spreading that oxtail wealth across the city. I know that oxtail is eaten across the world, yes. specifically within different countries yes. and islands in the Caribbean. So how does the preparation vary? Because of um, the cut of meat, is either you're going to get it in a stew or a soup. It could take a lot of cooking. Some countries would um, cook it with a lot of fresh seasonings and a lot of fresh herbs. Countries like Jamaica would cook it with fresh herbs and the addition of dried spices, like all spice. My name is Chef D. I'm the executive chef of Island Spice Grill. So oxtail was considered a poor man's food in the islands and in Jamaica. Oxtails is considered awful which is the less desirable part of the cattle. So a lot of butchers and a lot of plantation owners would prefer to go with higher end cuts in the meats because oxtails would just take too long to cook and it was just considered a waste. But the working man, the poor man, will find many ways to use the oxtails and turn it into a delicacy. It takes a long, long process to cook and a lot of people like to rush it. Oxtails is very high in gelatin content so you want to cook it very slow and very low in fire, and that's where you get that meat falling off the bone and you get a, that sticky feeling in your hands, and it takes minimum three to four hours to cook. For the ideal oxtails, you slow braise it and kind of stew it. It has become very expensive, almost unaffordable, but people love it, you know, and there's a demand for it. They get it with their rasta pasta, they get it with their rice and peas, they get it with their vegetables. I love oxtails. If they cook correctly, not everybody can cook oxtails. And if you season it right, oh my God, it can last in your mouth for days. It's tender meat when it's cooked well, um, falling off the bone, this gravy on the rice. First time I tried the oxtails, the best, the best. I love oxtail. Can't make it, but I eat it. Thank you so much. Slow braised oxtails and butter beans. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I can't take this anymore. Yes. This looks so good. Yes. Let's dig it. Let us dig it. What are some of the flavors that you're getting? It is very tender mm -hmm. and it came right off the bone. You taste the spices in there. You taste like the fresh seasoning that yeah. we use. What's really unique about the oxtail recipes coming out of the Caribbean is the use of the Amerindian and the African ways of cooking. You also have a lot of the colonial um, influences, but you really get a lot of the techniques that the first people use, the African slave use, um, using undesirable parts of the meat, cooking it in big pots, long and slow, and feeding a bunch of people. So we have two different rices. Yes. Um, you have rice and beans. I have the rice and the red beans. So this is like pretty much like comfort food in Jamaica. Mm. Jamaicans, they're known for and they cook a lot of rice and beans using the red beans mm -hmm. and it's no, always normally paired with the oxtail and a lot of gravy mm -hmm. and traditionally you do have your steamed cabbage and you have your fried plantains here. So what were you expecting with it being like your first time having oxtails? 
I just wouldn't expect there to be as much meat on it. It kind of looks kind of bony. Yes. It's just a lot of textures on one piece. Yes. And it's really good. It is. So it to me, it reminds me of like a pulled, a pulled brisket. Mm. You know, yeah. it's not stringy, it's not chewy, it's very tender. And you do have the gelatinous aspect of it that people love. I personally love that part of it, just kind of getting in there with my fingers and just like eating at it, just like yeah. gnawing at it. This is like very unique. And if you haven't had oxtail before, you have to try it. And I'm so feeling you're enjoying I'm it. I'm into right? it. I feel like <laughs> now I'm going to go to restaurants and be like, y'all have oxtail? Yes. Then I, you can't help me. Yeah. Look at this. This is so good. It's good, isn't it? It has a very concentrated color on there. It's, it's, it's super glossy. Um, it's really tender. I'm so happy that you were able to come and have it in Brooklyn today with me. Mm. I'm happy too. <laughs> this is delicious. You're like a pro now in like eating oxtails. Thank you so much for educating me. This has been amazing. Yes.